everybody. Today is August 7th. And you see I have Anaya laying on the side of the bed about to fall off. You want to show them you know how to get down? Hmm? No? I'm currently watching vlogs and um, vlogs and try on hauls and a lot of stuff that I missed over the past couple months. I'm about to take, um, I'm about to twist my hair or braid my hair so that I have a little bit dip of definition. As you see, it's just really thick and matted and dry looking. So I'm gonna do my hair and then I'm gonna do something to Naya's <laughs> hair. As you all see, she has like eight teeth now. <laughs> Naya has like eight teeth now. She likes to brush her teeth in the morning and at night. She loves <laughs> bath time because she gets to play with her toys. She loves outside. As you can see, she's looking outside at the geese and the grass and the lake. Yes. She's saying words. She's saying she said and that, this, mama, dada, yeah. Seven. No, stop. And she's telling me off. <laughs> I'm going to If I have a clip. Oh, I think I inserted it last in last week's vlog. But Seven. she talks to me like Seven. she's telling me what to do. And yeah. She's getting really big. Seven. Last time she went to Seven. the doctor, she was 31. That looks weird. She was 31.5 inches tall, which is two and a half, two, two feet. Hey. Yeah, two feet and some change. And she was 23.15 pounds. So 20, 23 pounds, 15 ounces. Okay. Yeah, you were. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's your toy. That. That. This. But yes, um, so that's a little update on Anaya. You stop it. You stop it. <laughs> really fussy today. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do my hair and then do a nice hair, and I'll see you all in a little. Bye bye.
everybody. We're outside taking a walk. Are you enjoying yourself? Uh, hmm? Uh, hmm? Uh. <laughs> I had to stop in the shade. It's, it's burning up out here. And I don't think I'm going to be out here too long. So we're probably going to finish walking up this street, walk back, and go back inside. Because I just, this heat is killer. It's very humid. It's very sticky. So we're going to keep walking for somebody. I think I'm trying to rob the house. So I'll see y'all later. Good morning. Good morning. Today is the 14th of August, Tuesday. And um, right now I'm headed to my new job. Well, I still have to pass the background check. But I'm headed to the place to get my fingerprints and stuff done so the background can get started. Uh, I'll be working at a daycare. Um, I'm not going to say where, but yes, I'll be working at a daycare as a teacher. Um, just This is just something to start off with and so um, I just lost my train of thought just like that. Oh, I'll be a teacher, so I'll be working Monday through Friday, weekends off or whatever. Um, it's just something to start off. It's not my end or career path, but um, I did need something for now. So, that's that. School starts tomorrow. I'm not excited. I have to get a specific calculator and pay a hundred something dollars for this website that the teacher wants to use just because. And, um, that's pretty much it for that. But I really oh, I got a close garage. In a quarter second. mile, turn right onto Southland Drive. Proceed to the route. Hold on, I'll be right back. I really got on here to just talk to y'all because like lately okay I have this friend Turn right onto South that I talk to on a regular basis and a lot of stuff that person has been saying has been aggravating me like do y'all ever have that friend that whatever you say they kind of twist it to like they twist their response or twist your words to make Turn it seem like you feel a certain type of way when you really don't like let me give an example um say um you and your boyfriend in one mile broke up left onto South Stone. and something happened to somebody in his family and you just reach out to the boyfriend you're like hey is everything okay but they don't respond so you and your other friend you're talking about it and you was like i don't really care but i just want to reach out and it was like um well they have a right to be mad at you and they should be mad at you but i wouldn't care if it was me and you clearly just told them you didn't care. You was just being nice, reaching out. Like that does would that aggravate y'all, or am I just tripping? Maybe I'm just tripping, but that's not the first incident that happened like this week. And so I don't know. That maybe it's just me, but that really like irks my nerves or grind my gears. Like when people try to tell me what I feel when I clearly just told you that's not what it was. But yeah. But anyway, um, life goes on. So I'm headed to the place like I just told y'all. Afterwards, I have to go to Walmart and get Anaya some toothpaste, and I have to get this specific calculator that um, my teacher requested. 
and I think that's all I have to get and then I'll be back to doing homework today so that's my life but I just want to pick up the camera and update you all I know I never told y'all I was still interviewing for different things I did get denied for Sharon Williams um, for reasons they did not specify but um, I'm just grateful and thankful that God gave me this position because if you really have been keeping up with me and you've really been paying attention I've been searching for jobs since about May and um, it's been a long process especially when you have a whole child like that's a tough position to be in but God is great so woo, I'll talk to y'all later